In this video, you'll see how to monitor AWS CloudTrail log data in Amazon CloudWatch. With CloudWatch, you can visualize and explore your CloudTrail logs, analyze time series log data, and create metric filters for your data. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service with robust features that can help you derive actionable insights from vast amounts of CloudTrail log data. To get started, let's see how to enable CloudTrail logs and publish them to CloudWatch. Let's create a new trail to collect our AWS account activity. This screen lets you create a trail using simplified settings. In order to specify advanced options, we'll use the full Create Trail workflow instead. Specify a name for this trail. We'll retain the default option to create a new Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket to store logs for the trail and continue on. By default, the log files delivered by CloudTrail to your bucket are encrypted by Amazon server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed encryption keys. To provide a security layer that is directly manageable, you can enable server-side encryption with AWS Key Management Service managed keys for your CloudTrail log files. Provide an alias for the AWS KMS key that will be used to encrypt the log files. Select this checkbox to enable CloudWatch logs to receive CloudTrail data. Next, provide a name for the AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that CloudTrail assumes to send events to the CloudWatch Logs log group. Review the policy document for this role and proceed to the next step. Next, you must specify which events to send to CloudWatch. Note that additional charges apply for data events and insights events. In this case, we'll select all three categories. You can send both S3 and Lambda events to CloudWatch. In this case, let's keep S3 as the only data event source. You can reduce costs and log events by filtering data events down to include only the buckets you care about. For our purposes, let's retain the default option to send events for all S3 buckets to CloudWatch. Review the settings and create the cloud trail. The cloud trail has been created. Please note that the creation of this new cloud trail trail is required to integrate with CloudWatch. Let's take a look at the event history screen. After a few minutes, this screen will start showing all the events being logged by CloudTrail. Please note that CloudTrail will only show the events of the CloudTrail event history for the current region you are viewing for the last 90 days, and these events are limited to management events with create, modify, and delete API calls and account activity. You can drill into an event to see its details. The number of events recorded by CloudTrail in a single day can amount to thousands of API activities and terabytes of data. Even with advanced filtering, finding useful information or patterns by analyzing events directly from CloudTrail can be challenging and time-consuming. With CloudWatch, however, you can easily explore, analyze, and visualize your CloudTrail logs to gain system-wide visibility and quickly resolve issues. Let's take a look at Logs Insights. CloudWatch Logs Insights is an interactive log analytics capability that lets you query the logs and analyze the trend of API activities. Analyzing this trend over a period of time provides insight into the normal baseline activity so you can recognize abnormal activity. To get started, let's select the CloudWatch log group we have been sending the CloudTrail events to. Now let's run the default query. The query has returned a summary of all the CloudTrail events that have been sent into CloudWatch logs. You can use CloudWatch log insights to run very specific queries to find exactly the data you are looking for. For example, this query filters failed sign-in attempts to your AWS account, visualizing access patterns to identify brute force attacks or bot attacks. The query also captures whether multi-factor authentication, or MFA, was used or not, which can help you identify and enforce MFA usage in your account or across your organization. You can expand the record to view more information on the query result. The creation of AWS KMS keys is another important security activity that can be monitored using CloudTrail logs. For example, this query looks for key creation events that use key material outside of AWS KMS. Keeping track of keys created with external key material 
can help you maintain oversight of the key management process and ensure that expired key material is replaced. You can easily add queries to a dashboard, allowing you to monitor them as part of your daily operational activities. Give the widget a title and add it to the dashboard. Next, let's take a look at Contributor Insights. Contributor Insights analyzes time series data to show the top contributors influencing system performance. Analyzing the top contributors can help to identify the source of an operational issue due to API throttling, bad actors, or an anomalous incident in the account. Since Contributor Insights doesn't scan the entire log, it can also be more cost-effective than running queries in Logs Insights. Let's look at a few rules that filter the CloudTrail logs to help you find top contributors. First, we'll create a rule using the Syntax tab. Specify a name for the rule. In most AWS accounts, the event Assume Role is the top contributor because applications, IAM users, and AWS managed services all assume IAM roles for specific tasks. In this rule, Let's look at the top API calls in your account, but exclude the Assume Role API from the contributors. Now that we've provided the syntax, let's switch to the Wizard tab to inspect the configurable parameters. In the Log Group Names section, you can specify which CloudWatch log group this rule applies to. In the Contribution section, you can define how the rule filters the log events. This rule aggregates the results on the count of occurrences of each unique contributor. You can also aggregate on the sum of the values of a field that you specify from the log event. Now let's create this rule. Next, select the rule that was just created to view it. As you can see, the rule creates a time series of how the API calls are distributed over a specified period. It shows metrics about the unique contributors and their usage. The console has built-in features to add this visualization to the CloudWatch dashboard to view the detailed logs in CloudWatch Logs Insights, or to export the result to a CSV file. You can also create rules for specific events. Let's skip ahead to view a rule that has already been created. Contributor Insights rules can monitor for anomalous activity, such as denied access, which is often indicative of compromised credentials. This rule monitors IAM user access patterns across your account and services. It provides time series data of which IAM activity resulted in access denied events or were blocked due to an unauthorized API call. Next, let's navigate to the Log Groups screen to see how to use metric filters. Until now, we have visualized time series graphs by extracting log fields from CloudTrail logs. Using metric filters, you can search and match terms, phrases, or values in CloudTrail log events to create custom metrics. Let's drill down into the CloudTrail log group to see an example. In this case, let's create a metric filter to monitor the Assume Role API, which is used by IAM roles and applications to access AWS services. First, provide the filter pattern to match in our log events. Notice that we can test the pattern before continuing. For our purposes, let's move on. Next, specify a name for this filter. Now provide some additional details. The namespace lets you group similar metrics together. Next, specify a name for this filter. Next, provide the metric value. In this case, we'll audit the Assume Role API for events in which the session duration is longer than our organization's defined security best practices. Let's also specify a default value. Now review and create the metric. The metric filter has been created. Let's scroll down and take a look at it. This metric filter parses the CloudTrail log events as they occur in the CloudWatch logs group and creates custom metrics on the duration of an Assume Role session in seconds. To receive notifications when a metric threshold is reached, you can create an alarm. Once the alarm is created and triggered, you can drill into it to see the details of the event. You've just seen how to monitor AWS CloudTrail log data in AWS CloudWatch. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.